this is another uh, code where we are going to learn on another specific value which we are working on. So I give the comment as check if OBS segment exists and contain a specific value in OBX file. So I have already written the code and even I'll be updating this code in my GitHub and giving the link. So don't get afraid of code. You can be using the similar code with different uh, fields and segments for yourself. Perfect. So this statement says if this OBX segment length is greater than zero and it will come to this loop. So if the segment value exists, then we'll come to the field value and check for OBX 5.1. And if it's matched the word result, it will execute as true. So as we have already given it, we'll do test it. So here is the interesting part. You can say like, hey, like uh, uh, my sample message doesn't have OBS segments. No need to worry. Like you can go ahead. For example, if you have any particular sample message, you can type OBX and you can start giving the field. So you can create your own fields and everything. You, It's not mandated that the value should be in the same template professionally. You, in the testing purpose, you can do anything. So this is the first field. One, two, three, four, five. So this is where my value should be result and matching the value over here. So I have copied this and I'll go back to the channels. I'll save it. Yeah. There's already revision. So always when there is revision, go ahead and deploy it. Perfect. So you can see that everything is zero. I raised it for you people. Yep. So I have a result over here. So it should match and it should process as per our code. And yes, refreshed. It has been received in the destination and filtered. So it's it's very simple, guys. Like uh, it's not complicated. The filters are very fun. So I'll change one small value here. I keep keep it as a result. Okay, and we'll see if it pass or not. It shouldn't pass. So it should be one over here. It should get filtered out, and we'll see. Yes, it got filtered out. So this is how like the minute things can be filtered out and I'll be showing more and more examples on how the filter works and how can you do more changes to it and make sure like whatever example you're using you can create your own uh, fields people will worry that I need a sample HL7 message from where from Google or somewhere like that you can create your own sample message segments and everything starting from here make sure that uh, this encoding characters are there rest of the thing is it's your wish everything works fine that's it guys for this video and we'll be learning more more filters javascript filters in the next video thank you